Uh, hi, I'm Jordan Long, and today you probably wonder why is the lights off? Well, it's apparently it's bright in this room now, or it's getting bright. And I guess I should have done that with the Sailor, or I guess we should have done that with Sailor Moon and Sailor Venus, but it is what it is. So anyway, Jordan says, I want to talk about, you know, this film is called CM Punk is a Jerk. Now, it is true, there were sagas and tales about when CM Punk was in WWE the first time, or when he was a top, when he was one of the main wrestlers, about how he didn't want to have to deal with the followers, you know. He uh, wanted everything, but he didn't want to put in all the work, all right? He would bitch about how no one onlooked him, about how, about how he believed uh, he would, and he believed that all his all his wear and dolls and anything with him on it was either being sold through eBay and Amazon as soon as someone bought it. That no one gave two shits about him, and he shouldn't give two shits about anyone. At least that was, you know. And did that help him? No, it didn't help him. Okay. If it helped him, he would still be in WWE, which it did not. Hey, the way CM Punk behaved, am up harming him at the end. You know, that was the grounds to why he didn't do very well as WWE heavyweight winner. The way he would behave when he wasn't wrestling, you know, I guess in his belief, he saw himself as one of those wrestlers or show players that plays a selfhood, but then after they're done playing their selfhood, they're being their true self. And if his true self was being a jerk, well, it, it didn't help him, did it? So, okay, he don't like followers, he doesn't like dealing with them, he thinks they're... He, I don't know, maybe he believes they're beneath, they're, they're, I don't know, that they're not needed. I don't know what his hang-up was. So, anyway, he comes back to WWE, but let's keep in mind, he works for Fox. But, WWE backstage is a WWE show that is filmed by WWE for Fox Sports, so yeah, he is on a WWE show. So, he gets away with saying certain things, or at least doing certain things, that the other folks on W backstage cannot do. Alright. But keep in mind, this is a man who hasn't been in WWE since 2014 YL, so his thoughts and his belief might not match up, might not go with what's actually going on. You see. But anyway, Here's my take on what CM Punk does when he comes on WWE Backstage. Now, WWE Backstage is on Fox Sports at 11 p.m. That's the only time that Fox Sports could give them. So this is how I guess he'd be like if he came on my show behaving like he does on WWE's Backstage show. He'd be like, well, Jordan, you know you need to have a more good web shooter. And it's still dark in this room, even though it is kind of bright, you know. And, uh, you know, and you do need to be shifting out your films. Yeah, and then he, like, leaves for, like, weeks at a time. He only, like, shows up on WWE backstage every once in a while, you know. And... Everyone keeps asking him, oh, is he still going to wrestle? I don't know. So, every, so, but apparently, um, the only on like is that I can always pull the CM Punk doll out. The true CM Punk would, you know, be away from sometimes. And then he would come back and he would say his thought on something and he'd be gone. Well, you know what, Jordan? You know what, CM Punk? That's your belief. But I think this is a good web shooter. The only one I can work with until I get my Microsoft Windows one. And I suppose you're going to bitch about that one, too. When I get whatever web shooter, too, you're going to seek some wrong with that. Yeah, I think so. 
And as far as cleaning my films go, well, put it this way, I don't have to clean my films. And even if I did clean my films, it's not like I'm going to get more watch time from it. See, at least I can all, I can, at least I can talk back to them. At least I can, most folks in WWE backstage don't have that. He shows up from time to time while Booker, while Renee Young, Booker T, and Paige are there, and Christian Cage are there all the time. He says a little something about something, and then he's gone for a while. Yes, he's a show player now. He has gone from wrestling to fighting to show playing. So he's doing that now, and good for him. But I think the way he, the way he behaves is going to harm him everywhere he went. You know? So, yeah. And he does like, and, and he do, and it is what it is, so. You know? And he might actually, and keep in mind, it's still his belief, so he doesn't know truth to it. Well, you know, Nagley Tang of, you know her, Jordan. She has a, a Apple Macintosh book, uh, Apple Macintosh MacBook, or maybe it's an Apple Mac and I, an Apple Macintosh i, i plus iMac or whatever you call them. And you know, at least you know, and at least she takes time and puts and puts a lot of time into it. Well, I put a lot of time in, and you should put a lot of time in your films too. Yeah, and of course, and and, and you know, that's a French bar word, sad for saying that. And you know, also be like this. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, CM. I'll tell you right now, CM Punk. Yeah, she might have an Apple Macintosh uh, Reckoner with Apple's Macintosh OS. Good for her. It might, might last her about 10 or 10 years, maybe even longer. I don't know. All I know right now is I got a Google Chrome base. And soon I'll have a, a, have a Microsoft Windows Reckoner again with Microsoft Windows 10 on it again. And I put all my time into it. So don't think that since I don't got a dirt, unlike Reckoner with an unlike running makeup layout upset, upstart, you know, up setup, you know, and that uh, I put all the time into it if I don't clean it. So at least I can do that. Some folks cannot, you know. So yeah. That would basically be how it'd be like Jordan said. He'd come in every once in a while, give his thoughts and belief on whatever it was, then be gone for a while, as far as the WWE backstage show goes. So I thought, I haven't seen him in some time, so I thought, hey, I'll pull him out here on my YouTube fairway, and I thought, then I thought, okay, I'll pull him out my YouTube fairway. That's what I thought I'd do. Oh God! It's still... I thought I'd pull him out. Um, I thought I'd pull him out of my YouTube fairway and then have some fun at it, cause that's always like, you know. I'm Jordan Long, and I'll see you later.